What's up, Mad 25 gamers? In this week's scheme of the week, we're gonna be taking a look at the pistol playbook and more specifically, more specifically, the uh, two running back system out of the pistol sets. And um, this week we're using the San Francisco 49ers. In my opinion, one of the better pistol teams in the game. And, and our base formation um, with the 49ers this this week is gonna be the pistol, um, the pistol strong. And we're gonna substitute. You wanna have Michael James as your um, as your um, slot back, and then Frank Gore as your deep back, and then of course you want Crabtree and Bolden on the outside and Davis in the middle. And the base play um, this week for our uh, our offense is going to be the uh, if I can find it here, where is it? Where is it? The inside zone split is our base play, and uh, we talked about it last week. This is probably the best run in the game. Uh, some other plays, we're, we're going to go over some other plays in a moment. But inside zone split, pound for pound, best play in the game, uh, or best running play in the game because we can run it in a multitude of ways. You're going to run this run probably 15, 20 times a game minimum. This is your run uh, this year. You're going to pound this on first down, second down, and then when they don't even think, you're going to go back to a third down. You're going to keep powering away at the defense with this run. It's going to set up some of our other runs out of this formation. Now, Obviously, we're gonna, you know, we don't have to show you all the different ways that you can run this run. I mean, it's really the same way every time, and it just, it just works. So we're gonna go over a couple of other things we can do. Half back off tackle. Uh, when you call this play, Vernon Davis is gonna motion over. That's the only unfortunate. Um, but Lamichael James in an off tackle scenario is just dominant, and and with his quick speed and quickness, he can really break this out wide. This is probably one of the better runs in the game, in my opinion. And it's tough because you're hitting the middle, and then you're going to hit them with this. And it's just it's just something else that they are going to have to guard. Vernon Davis is going to get over there quick, and you could just get going quick snap. And, and I would I would use this run uh, in no huddle situations when they don't have time to see what you're going to do. I would just go, go, go with this run. This is your quick snap run if they're not honoring it. So you're just going to come out, and you're going to audible right to it. And if they're not honoring this run, you're going to take it. If they are honoring it, and you're going to go back to your base play. You're going to take your inside zone split, and you're going to run it down their throat. All right, moving on to the next play. The pistol um, HP stretch. And uh, HP stretch here is just, uh, it's just our right run. If they're showing that they're weak on the outside, they're starting to, to pinch down and maybe shade left to stop the to stop the um, you know something like this. Maybe pinching their line, stop it, trying to stop the inside zone split. Well, we're just gonna hit them with a halfback stretch and and get to the edge. And Gore, even Gore on the edge is very difficult to catch. So that's what we like to do there. And then the the uh, another play I want to look at here. I, I forgot to grab it before I came in here. Uh, it's the read option, and that's kind of what holds this whole thing together. This is kind of the the X factor play from this formation, rather, um, and the, the the main play we're going to look at is the triple option switch, and it's going to be going off tackle to the right. All right, so here we have it, and we're just going to read the defensive end. We know how to run the read option from our tips in the earlier on in the season, and now we're going to start using it in our offense and defenses. And this is just something to keep your opponent off guard. It looks exactly like the inside zone split. The only difference is that the fullback does not go to the left. See here on the inside zone split, it looks like the same handoff pre-snap, and it's it's going to go a different direction now. And that's what the pistol. That's what this formation, in my opinion, is designed to do. Force the defense to to have to worry about it. And again, if you don't, if you if you can. You could sometimes just cut this back across the grain like you would with the inside zone split. But the deal is, uh, and the, why we like to do this, is because now we're optioning the defensive end instead of just instead of just power running. So that's what we like to do here. And then let me show you what happens if they get undisciplined and they start trying to play the running back. You're going to get big, big gains with Kaepernick and just read your pitch man. And if they go with pa if they go at the back, you're going to keep it. If they don't go at the back, then you're going to pitch it. So here, just pitch it off to Michael James and, and, and try to get him to the to the edge there. So that's the pistol um, f as far as the running running plays go from this. And, and this is my main, it's not my three-headed rushing attack. It's my main formation. Um, and because of the next play, we're going to go over in a minute. But just remember, work the inside zone split like 35. Like I would, in a real NFL game, if you're playing 15 minutes quarters, they would probably run this play at least 25 times. I mean, this is. I mean, this play just has to be 
It has to be the it play for you this year, guys. This is a phenomenal play out of the pistol playbook, and it's going to set up our passing. Now, remember, out of the pistol, passing is not as sexy as it is out of, you know, maybe a Giants gun doubles uh, wing tight end or, or Indianapolis bunch tight end. But it is very effective. We're going to use simple passing concepts to beat man coverage and zone coverage. That leads me to my next play in this formation, the PA Flood. What you're going to do with this is you're going to put Michael James on a streak. You're going to put Michael Crabtree on a smoke screen. You're going to put Frank Gore on a swing pass to the left side of the screen. And you're going to put Anquan Bolden on a smart routed out route. A lot of adjustments. First read on this play is going to be Crabtree. He's, if he's not open, your second read is going to be Vernon Davis on the deep corner. It's going to be man coverage almost every single time. If it's not open, uh, then your next read is going to progress to LaMichael James here. And you see he gets in a tender area for a nice pass there. And then your um, your final read is a curl flat read to the left side. The out routes are going to be sure thing against man. So it's just nice to have those at our disposal. Every once in a while we'll go slant flat uh, instead of uh, out flat. So we'll just put Bolton on a slant instead of an out. And use the slant to beat man coverage because we set it up with the out route, like I was talking about a couple of uh, weeks ago. Alright, what about zone? Say they call zone. Okay, well let's call cover six. Call the play here. Alright, so what's going to happen in cover six is typically the, the purple will not cover the smoke screen, so you'll just be able to dump it to it quick, and that's your first read. What about cover two sink? Well, give me one second here. So there's cover two sink. A lot of people are man aligning the cover two sink right now. I personally am one of those people. I think it's much better. But if they do that, you're gonna have a couple of options here. The smoke screen is is uh is is open and you can take it for a quick two, but it's not uh, viable. It's really not a you're gonna you're not gonna get what you you're not gonna get enough yards for it to be worth your while, so I just don't I usually don't take the uh the bubble screen against this uh, against this play, uh, but co uh, the corner route is going to be open somewhat, but not not if they pass commit. So you just need to know that if they pass commit, it's not there, and if it's not there, you're gonna you know there's going to be a guy in the way. So you need to be aware uh, that you you know if there's a guy in the way, you're not throwing the ball there. And typically, if Davis is going to be covered, then the back will be open out of the backfield. So. That's what I love about this play. It can beat every coverage in the game very easily. And combined with this inside zone run and some other hot routes we can do from this formation, this is uh, a very difficult formation to stop, especially as a base. Uh, we'll be going over the rest of it, but for all of these formations, we're using two running backs, one tight end, and uh, two wide receivers. So be sure to make sure that you have a personnel considerably similar to this. I think that the Niners are the best team in the game for this personnel grouping. Uh, but you be the judge of that. Thanks for watching. And tune in tomorrow where we're going to teach you how to beat man coverage out of the pistol formation. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.